Tampa's International Airport received a little bit of rainfall last night, a little over a tenth of an inch. This will help a little bit to alleviate the rather dry conditions we've been experiencing all year, but I'm afraid we're still well below what we should be at this point. Only five days to go in the month of July, and we're less than half where we should be in rainfall. Getting some rain around the Bay Area right now, but let's look what happened this morning around our viewing area. Temperatures stayed on the warm side. It was 77 in Lakeland and 76 at Tampa's International Airport. A very warm night. It's 80 degrees at St. Petersburg, Largo the same temperature, and 70, a full 10 degrees cooler, and clear water for their morning minimum temperature. The remainder of the state stayed mostly in the mid-70s. Looking around the state at this hour, we see a rather wide range of temperatures. Here's a rather extreme range, 78 degrees at Fort Myers and all the way up to 93 at St. Petersburg. A thunderstorm is in progress at Fort Myers. Thunder is uh, being recorded at St. Petersburg, but no precipitation has fallen at their airport just yet. 89 at Tampa and 89 at Clearwater. Over in the East Coast, Vero Beach, 87 degrees, a little cooler, 81, with some rain showers approaching the airport at West Palm Beach. 86 at this hour in Miami and Key West, a little warmer with 87 degrees. Now the temperature stands at a rather pleasant 87 degrees. Relative humidity is at 65%. Our wind speeds have been gusting up around 10, but at the present time are completely calm. Wind direction, when the winds have been blowing, have been from the south and southwest. Barometric pressure stands at 30 and 2 hundredths inches. Pollution levels, I'm sorry to report today, have been heavy, but should be back to moderate by tomorrow. The tropical depression we were viewing over the last few days around the vicinity of Guatemala and southern Mexico no longer poses a threat. It spent too much time overland, was cut off from a source of potential energy that is a very warm, moist tropical waters and has essentially dissipated just a little cloudiness remaining. Elsewhere in the tropics, just a little bit in the way of cloudiness extending up northeast of the Bahamas. We'll keep an eye on that. Still nothing looks like we're going to develop into tropical storms within the next 24 to 48 hours. Over Florida, you can see a rather widespread area of shower activity, as we mentioned just a moment ago. This shower activity you like to look at right now on the National Weather Service radar, you can see the showers are moving, or actually are not indicating any direction moving because of rather variable winds in the upper atmosphere. Showers are widespread, however, from Lake Okeechobee up to Tampa, down over Fort Myers, where they appear to be heaviest, and then out over the Gulf of Mexico in the vicinity of Appalachia Bay. Looking back at the national map, very warm tropical air is moving now up into the southern portion of the country. This has been the standard pattern for the past week, widespread uh, rain showers and thunderstorms occurring along the stretch of the country. Moving further up into the Appalachians and well in the Ohio Valley, widespread shower activity once again associated with a frontal system that extends from the Great Lakes well into southern Texas. In advance of the system, partly cloudy skies and generally muggy and humid conditions are prevalent in this portion of the country. This system will continue moving to the east, allowing cooler, drier air from Canada to penetrate into the upper Great Plains. Generally cooler temperatures in this area and air has been considerably drier, relieving some very warm conditions over that portion of the country the past several days. In the southwest, once again, a thermal low is quite active. Temperatures will reach up into the hundreds later on this afternoon. Just a little bit in the way of shower activity. Essentially, fair skyers cover most of the northwest portion of the country. National low temperature this morning, hardly a, a very pleasant distinction. 39 degrees was the coldest spot once again in Big Piney, Wyoming. Partly cloudy skies and continued scattered afternoon thunder showers. A high temperature today and tomorrow of a warm 92. The low for Friday morning, 75. 50% chance of rain this afternoon, 20% tonight, and dropping off once again to zero in the morning. Variable winds coming westerly late this afternoon with a sea breeze, 5 to 15 miles per hour, gusting higher in the vicinity of showers. Seas over the Gulf of Mexico running about one to three feet. Only one tide remaining today at the Gandhi Bridge, and the Gulf water temperature once again is 86 degrees, very warm. That's it in the weather. Have a very pleasant day.